The method of group averages is the simplest but most basic in the best fit curve fitting methods. Learn how it works here in Numerical Solutions to C Problems. The first example showcases even number data points and even X interval. We are to find the best fit line for the 12 data points, where we are to break them down into two groups, where each has six data points. The first group has X equal to 1 until 1 1.5. The second group is from 1.6 to 2.1. For the first group, x has a total of 7.5, then 7.5 divided by 6 is 1.5. The total of y is then 5.68 plus 8.05 plus 10.25 plus 11.97 plus 12.68 and 14.03, which is equal to 62.66. If this is divided by 6, y has an average of 3133 upon 300. The second group also has six data points, where x has 1.6 until 2.1 with an interval of 0.1. Adding them all up, the total x is 11.1, and divide this by 6 gives 1.85. The total y comes from 15.46 plus 17.08 with 18.52 plus 19.86 plus 20.59 and 22.14, which results to 113.65. The average is taken from 113.65 over 6, that is 2,273 upon 120. Using the linear equation y as ax plus b, the averages taken from the first group serve for the first equation, where we get 3133 over 300 as equal to 1.5a plus b. From the second group, equation 2 is taken as 2273 over 120 as equal to 1.85a plus b. By method of elimination, we solve the variables by subtracting equation 2 from equation 1, which cancels out B. Now, 2,273 over 120 minus 3,133 over 300 is equal to 5,099 over 600. On the other side, 1.85 minus 1.5 Give 0 0.35 of A. We then take A as 5,099 over 210, which is 24.2810. Now plug A into the first equation to have 3,133 over 300 as 1.5 times A, which is 5,099 over 210 plus B. B is then negative 25.9781. With the variables A and B already determined, the linear equation Y as AX plus B becomes Y as 24.2810 of X minus 25.9781. The second example also has even data points but an even X interval. With 10 data points, each group will have 5 data pairs. So the first group takes x as 0 0.3, 0 0.45, 0 0.55, 0 0.65, and 0 0.8. Then copy their corresponding y counterparts. Add all x values to have 2.75. 
The average is then 2.75 divided by 5, giving 0 0.55. For y, we get 1.43 plus 2.56, add 3.78 and 5.02, plus 7.34 as equal to 20.13 and divide this by 5 to have the y average as 4.026. The second group has x values of 0 0.9, 1.05, 1.2, 1.3, and 1.45, having a total of 5.9. Divide this by 5 to have x average as 1.18. y is also added to get 57.42. And dividing this by 5 gives the average, which is 11.484. Knowing the two pairs of averages give the two linear equations. From the first group, the first equation is 4.026 as equal to 0.55a plus b. For the second group, the second equation is then 11.484 as equal to 1.18a plus b. Now subtract equation 1 from equation 2 to take out b. The difference of 11.484 minus 4.026 is 7.458. The other side also has 1.18 minus 0 0.55 giving 0 0.63 of A. Isolate A by division and have A as 1243 over 105 or that is 11.8381. Now replace A into the first equation and have 4.026 as equal to 0 0.55 of 1243 over 105 plus b. b is then taken as negative 2.4850. With a and b already solved, the best fit line for the data points is then y as 11.8381 of x minus 2.4850. Take note that the method of group averages works regardless if the intervals are even or uneven. The third example has odd number data points but even eggs intervals. In this case, there are 11 data points. The first group contains 6 from x equal to 0 0.25 until 1.5. Adding all x intervals within the range, has a total of 5.25. The average is then 0 0.875. The total of y is taken from 10.12, 11.56, add 12.98, plus 14.24, with 16.07, and 17.58, which is equal to 82.55. Divide this by 6 to get 1,651 over 120. The second group contains the last five data points from x equal to 1.75 to x equal to 2.75. The total of x values is 11.25 and their average is 2.25. The summation of y is solved through 18.92 at 20.01 plus 21.79, 23.64, and 25.5, which gives 109.86. The average is taken from 109.86 divided by 5 to have 21.972. With the averages known, create the two linear equations, whereby the first group yields 1,651 over 120, as equal to 0 0.875a plus b. The second equation is 21.972 as equal to 2.25a plus b. We again eliminate b by subtracting the two equations where 21.972 minus 1651 over 120 gives 24,641 over 3,000. 
then 2.25 minus 0 0.875 is 1.375a. A is then determined as 5.9736. Substitute this value into the first equation and get 1,651 over 120 is equal to 0 0.875 times A, which is 5.9736 plus B. By multiplication, then transposition, B is then solved as 8.5314. With A and B known, the best fit line for the data set is Y as 5.9736X plus 8.5314. The fourth example has odd numbered data points and an even eggs intervals. These conditions do not affect the method and the procedure still remains the same. So with 11 data points, we take the first group with six coordinates, that is, from x equal to 0 to x equal to 0 0.35 with their y counterparts. Add all x values and get 1. This is divided by 6 to have 1 sixth as the average. y is also added to have 541 over 25. The average of y is then 541 over 25 divided by 6, which is then 541 over 150. The second group has five data points from x of 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.55, 0 0.65, and 0 0.75, which total to 2.85. The average x is then 2.85 divided by 5 to get 0 0.57. The summation of y is from 8.97 plus 10.24 plus 11.65 plus 12.86 and 14.65, which is equal to 58.37. The average is then 58.37 divided by 5 which is 11.674. To have the linear equations, the first equation is 541 over 150 as equal to a 6 of A plus B. The second equation is 11.674 as equal to 0 0.57A plus B. Use the method of elimination to cancel out B. Take equation 2 minus equation 1. 11.674 minus 541 over 150 is 12,101 over 1,500. Then 0 0.57 minus 1 over 6 is 121 over 300 of A. By division, a is then 12,101 over 605, or that is 20.0017. Place these into equation 1. We have 541 over 150 as equal to a sixth of 12,101 over 605 plus B, where B becomes 826 over 3,025, or 0 0.2731 through multiplication and subtraction. Thus, y is then 20.0017 of x plus 0 0.2731 in the linear form.